Hello to everyone, uh, today I want to show you an indispensable software according to me for resolution of hyperstatic beams or frames. I'm talking about of F-Tool. Let's see now at the necessary things to get uh, um, diagrams of internal stresses of hyperstatic frames, for example, uh, given the last treatment uh, done on the channel. On the left side, we have some options including Select Mode, um, use it for select parts of our frames, Insert Member, use it for draw the parts of our frames, Insert Node, Insert Measure, and Keyboard Mode, use it for insert axial coordinates of our uh, node. At the bottom right, uh, we have Grid, I uh, use it for uh, obtain uh, a grade of point like this one, uh, the scale of our frame, and snap, using, we use it for uh, draw uh, orthogonal uh, line according to scale of our frame. And uh, now we can ready to draw our frame. Select it here, and select the center of page, and draw our, our member. Uh, for example this, of a length of 5 meters, clicking again for obtain a node. From this node we can draw in uh, other line, for example uh, like this one, or like this one, and etc. We obtain so this frame, for example, uh, clicking, he clicking by here for um, obtain a um, large and centered view of our frame, while with these others option we can zoom or zoom out our frame for example zoom zoom out our frame now clicking again here for obtain a green now we are ready for shoes support condition uh, for our frame um, we have this box where uh, we can decide the support condition so if I fix it, everyone, this box, uh, I obtain, now, first of all, I uh, select a node, for example, this, and uh, uh, if I fix it, uh, every one of this box, I obtain an uh, interlocking, uh, apply, select it here, and this is interlocking. We can change uh, the support condition, select it, the node and for example selected free displacement for x and free rotation around zeta axis we obtain a runner apply and selecting by here and we obtain uh, a runner can change yet our condition uh, selected node and uh, um, for example uh, selected displacement fix it the displacement for x Fixing displacement for y and free rotation around z axis. Apply. We, ob we obtain hang. So changing again. Fixing rotation around z z axis. Apply. Uh, interlocking and here selected this node. Um, free displacement for x and free rotation around z axis. Obtain. Apply the runner. In this way, we obtain a um, hyperstatic frame. Now we can decide the force, nodal force, or moment, um, or um, uniform loads uh, for our frames. Selected nodal forces, for, for example, um, selected uh, one of these nodes, for example, this one. Um, create a new uh, nodal forces, click by here. Uh, name it um, F1, Click, clicking by done, and we, uh, we must choose the orientation of our um, forces, we must decide if uh, is a um, horizontal forces, vertical force or moment uh, force. Um, I decide uh, for vertical force 1 kN. Um, apply, clicking by here, apply node forces to selected node, and we have the forces. Um, I can decide. I can decide to apply a uniform loads to, clicking by here, 
uh, create a new uh, uniform load, name it Q, clicking by here, done, and decide if it's a load in X direction or load in Y direction. I should, first of all, we uh, can decide which is the part of our frames where we can apply the um, uniform loads. For example, selection this part. In chosen, for example, uh, load in Y direction, value of 1 kN over meters, apply uniform load selected members, and we have this one. We have this representation of uniform loads. Now, we can decide to apply, for example, a moment uh, on our on, on one of these members of uh, uh, the frame. For example, these selected these parts. Clicking by here for applied moments. Uh, create new moment. Name it M. Done. And we must choose uh, between M A and M B. M A is internal member. Uh, and moment MB is final member and moment. We choose MB for example to kilonewton meters apply. So if we want to obtain a, a counterclockwise moment like this one, we must uh, insert a positive value. Uh, if we want to obtain a um, clockwise moment, we must insert a negative value, remember, and this um, clockwise moment. So um, now uh, we can ready to insert the section properties. Clicking by here, uh, create new section, for example, name it uh, section. And uh, here we can choose uh, between rectangle, E shape, angle, T shape, G shape, Z shape, circle, and so I decide for rectangle uh, shape, clicking down, and now it's important to insert the value for dimension of our section, uh, for example, 300 millimeters and 15. 100 millimeters selected all structure clicking hole and now we have this uh, uh, section with this uh, value uh, insert now material parameters create new parameter name it as for example done now selected all structure and leave default parameters group model Young model and thermal expansion coefficient. Clicking by here, apply to current material to all members. And now we are ready finally to draw diagram of internal stresses. Clicking here. Say we, let's say with uh, telaio. Save it. And this is the axial force for this frame. Clicking on one point, we uh, uh, know the um, value and the nature of our axial force. Value is 6.5 kN of tension. Nature is tension, uh, no shear force, and uh, the same value and nature of the position of our shear and clicking by here we obtain the bending moment clicking on one point we can know the value of our uh, bending moment and position of our coordinates we can know um, the reaction value of runner and uh, interlocking uh, click uh, here on display and uh, click reaction values we have the reaction values of our support this is the, this is basically uses of uh, this software is uh, very uh, important for engineers for this is all and we see at the next video